So I'm right now on week 13 of 14 with my Invisalign. So here's a few of the packs that I have. And I want to just go over my experience. I know I have a couple friends who are asking me a lot about it and are probably gonna do Invisalign at some point. So first off, I'll show you what my teeth used to look like. So here's a picture of it. You could see that one of my teeth was up really high. And so I thought I'd need surgery to fix that. Um, I fell down as a kid when I was maybe like six or seven years old at school and it knocked my tooth up and it totally misplaced it. So I didn't really like my spinal for a very long time. Then I asked my dentist if I could get surgery for it. And she said Invisalign could take care of it. Now I'm on week 13. You could see most of my teeth are pretty much in line now. That tooth is way lower down. I'm actually really impressed with it. And so I'll tell you about my experience, especially the first week transitioning into the first Invisalign is the hardest. Um, and then it gets pretty normal. And I, I just owned up to it. I told all my friends, I'm doing Invisalign. So whenever we go out to eat or whatever, I tell them like, hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, take out the Invisalign, I put it in this case. Um, they give you a nice little case for it. And then I brush my teeth about four times a day now. I go through toothpaste like no other, but it's no big deal. So let me tell you about it, the whole process. So it starts, I went to the dentist. They did a 3D scan of my teeth. And so instead of doing like a mold tray, which is I guess what they used to do back in the day, you'd bite down on a mold, they ship it out. Now they do a 3D scan of your teeth with this tool, which is really cool. And then they send it to Invisalign and Invisalign sends the dentist back a 3D kind of program project of what your teeth are gonna look like. So they actually showed me what my teeth would look like every single week. So I could click through it and it showed me how that gap that you could see is gonna close. And then they were like, are you cool with that? Is that how you want your teeth to look? If yes, then we can continue. And I said, yes, I do want that gap closed. I think it looks pretty good. Hit up a couple of my friends who just graduated dental school. And they said they'd recommend Invisalign. I just have to keep, keep care of my teeth. So my oral hygiene, make sure to floss and to brush all the time. And I was like, all right, cool, I can do that. So I ordered it. It cost me, I think, $3,000 with insurance for a 14 week program. And mine is 14 weeks because I have to wear them 21 hours a day. So I only take out the Invisalign to eat um, and to drink anything except for water. So it's actually been helpful. I barely snack now because it's such a pain to take them out, snack, brush my teeth, put them back in. And also I only drink water, so it's no big deal. Right now I have them in. You can probably barely tell. Um, the only thing is at the end of each week, then you can kind of start to tell because they do yellow a little bit if you don't clean them. Uh, but I just clean them with a soft toothbrush and toothpaste every night and they've been fine. So I'm gonna cut in really quickly and tell you how I take care of my teeth because I hate flossing. So I ended up buying this water flosser, which I actually had pre-Invisalign, but it's like 40 bucks on Amazon. And pretty much I just fill it up with water and I don't have a good way to show you an example and I didn't just eat, but you basically put it in your mouth, it reaches all the way back and you turn it on, it has various modes. And it helps me floss everywhere. So it's very helpful. So I do that and then after I will take my Invisalign and I take my soft toothbrush. So I have two of them, I have one for my teeth, one for my Invisalign. And then I put a little bit of toothpaste on it and sometimes I put the toothpaste right on the Invisalign, but I'll put it on the brush, get it wet. And then you just brush your Invisalign as if you're 65 years old and, or 85 probably, and brushing dentures. So you wanna get the middle, you wanna get the outside, the inside. And then once you finish doing that with both pieces, you pop them in. And that's it. And then you get back to it. The case is really convenient. The hardest part when you first start is taking them out. It's hard to figure out how to do it. I'll show you, it's kind of gross. I don't do it at the table, but I'll show you how it looks. So basically I have almost no fingernail. You might not even be able to see it, but you basically pop it out like this. So that's the bottom, it pops out right there. And then you would put it in the case, which I'm gonna do right now so I don't lose it. It doesn't get dirty. And then the top one, same thing, you pull it out, there's always saliva on it. I mean, it's in your mouth, there's nothing you can do about that. And then you take it out and that's it. Um, I'm gonna move a little closer. I do have attachments on my teeth. So you can see on some of my teeth right here, I have attachments. Most people can barely tell. They can't even see them um, until you point them out. And if you never point them out, people don't even notice. They are tooth colored, they match my teeth really well. 
took maybe like 30, 40 minutes for them to put it on. And basically those attachments are just glued onto your teeth while you have the Invisalign. And that helps the Invisalign grab onto something and then pull your teeth down. So the attachments are gonna come off after my 14th week. And then I'm gonna have a retainer, I think for the rest of my life that I wear at night. Not a big deal after getting used to wearing this 21 hours a day. So I'm really gonna appreciate that. Do you get a lisp? That's something that I was worried about. Yes, the first day of every single um, tray. So I switch trays every seven days. The first day, I always have a little bit of a lisp. The first two days with the first one, I literally had a lisp like fifth. It was pretty bad. That was a little exaggerated, but I was on a lot of Zoom calls for work and I just, I had to tell my coworkers, I was like, hey guys, if I sound like, you know, weird, uh, if I sound different, it's not because I'm like hung over or anything. It's because uh, I have Invisalign and I have a lisp, so I have to get used to talking to it, talking with it, um, and it's been fine. In terms of pain, my dentist recommended just taking Advil the first one or two days with a tray. I do definitely feel pain and it kept me up at night the first few weeks and even like getting onto week 13, it did hurt the first night, so I took some Advil. But other than that, it doesn't hurt too bad. Usually day two, you stop noticing that you even have it in and then you just pop it in like that and it aligns very well with your teeth. So it's really easy to put in and out so overall, would I recommend it? Yes, make sure you find a dentist that you know has been doing Invisalign for a while so that they make the process really quick. Basically what I do is um, after that first session where they scanned my teeth, then a couple weeks later I came back, they showed me the scans from Invisalign. A couple weeks after that I came back, they gave me the first month of trays, so the first four sets of the trays. And the trays are just what I took in uh, and out of my mouth. So the top and bottom, that counts as one set of trays. And then every week you switch and there's even an Invisalign app which reminds you to do that. So I, I got four trays at the beginning. Then after a month, I went back to the dentist. They gave me the next four trays. They test fit them to make sure that everything's going as it should be. Literally a five minute appointment. They gave me four trays, booked me for another month. And then a month later I went back and then it was week eight at that point. And they were like, okay, um, you know, how's it going? Are you putting them in all the time? Let's see if this one fits. They put in tray number nine. They made sure that it fit and then they put, uh, I don't know, some sort of small tool in my mouth to make sure my bite is proper. And so the dentist says it's good. I feel pretty good. And so now I have one more week left and I'm pretty happy with it. So overall, is it worth it? I think so. Um, I'm excited to get my attachments off because I don't know what my smile actually looks like. I still look at my teeth and think they look a little alien because I've noticed the attachments. Also, I had to, and your body just does this, when I first got the attachments on and the Invisalign, since it makes your teeth thicker, cause it's literally like an extra, I don't know, half a millimeter or something on top of your teeth, my lip would get stuck. So I would smile and then, and then this would happen and I'd look like a complete fool. And so I had to literally just like move my lip and so that it would cover my teeth, but now I'm totally used to it. So if you have any questions about Invisalign, let me know. I basically just made this video cause I know at some point one of my friends is gonna be like, I'm thinking of getting Invisalign. Would, do you know anyone that had it? And I'll be like, yes, watch this video that I made. So that's why I made this video. Um, hope you liked it. If you're a random person on the internet, good luck with your Invisalign. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't give a And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.